Hey, Lose Weight with Macros family, welcome to the show. If you are new here, pull up a chair, your notepad and pen, bring your coffee because this is going to be a juicy one. And I am your behavior change nutrition coach, helping women who are busy, successful, and you're in the position to lose five pounds of fat or more, or you just want to learn how to meal prep and meal prep well, then you are in the right place. And with that, my friends, we are talking about meal planning, free time saving tips. If you are the woman who is like, oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do when it comes to meal prep? Do not worry your friends your girl is here i'm about to give you free time saving tips as to how you can make your meal prep work for you as well as introducing you to some clients who had struggled with meal prep and how they overcame it so my friends if you're ready for today's episode i'm ready let's get into it So friends, when it comes to meal prep, where do you sit on the meal prep scale? From a zero to 100, uh, why am I speaking like I'm boxing in the red corner? Sorry, I'm a little bit excited about this episode. But where do you sit on the meal prep scale? Are you zero? You're like, nope, no time for it. Ain't got time for it. Too hard, too hard. Are you 100? And you're like, yeah, this is my jam. I know what I'm doing. Or are you smack dab in the middle neither here neither there you're just a little bit like meh wherever you are friends you are in the right place if you're somebody who wants to learn how to meal prep effectively and without riding the meal prep struggle bus friends let's talk about some freebies go over to the recipe website vanutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash recipes to put all of the tips that i'm talking about today into practice get out your apron and then get to cooking put these steps in steps into action because this podcast is all about action takers here whether you take the action to work with me and make me your coach or you take action to actually put these things into place like the macros guide if you're somebody who's like what are macros or you want to know if macros are right for you without putting skin in the game va nutrition coaching.co.uk forward slash macros guide is the guide for you it's free of charge and you will find out if this is what you want to do if you're somebody who wants to learn what macros are va nutrition coaching.co.uk forward slash custom dash macros is where i'll be calculating your specific macros for you your carbs your protein your fats your vitamins and minerals your vegetables all of those things and telling you how much your body needs in order for you to lose weight or to build muscle whatever your goal is now i've opened up five spots in december for coaching with me i will be your behavior change nutrition coach if you are in position to take action and ready to make me your behavior change nutrition coach va nutrition coaching.co.uk forward slash coaching the link will be in the show notes below where you'll be taken to an application form to apply for one of those five spaces i'd love to take every single one of you but unfortunately i can't i am in the position to take women who are ready to make those changes because behavior changing is quite hard to do but you're already in that place you know how hard it is you know what you want to do even so you're ready to make a change so we're talking about meal prep meal prep meal planning free time saving tips now if you didn't know I actually made a meal prep book because meal prep and meal planning is so difficult now if you're like Sam Sam struggles to keep meal plans organized and Sam she often runs to the grocery store at the last minute now I used to work in a grocery store and I did not lose to like these type of people who would run to the grocery store last minute and it would mean that I would be there a lot longer than I would care to be now Sam is tired of cooking the same boring thing for dinner every night. Now, if you're like Sam, you know that meal planning can be time consuming and it's tedious and it's hella boring if you're not doing it right. Now, if you're also like Sam, Sam is frustrated at the fact that she has to balance her weekly calendar, whether it's in her phone, the one that syncs with her husband's calendar, she has to plan the meals for the week, she has to shop for the groceries, then she has to cook the meals, then she has to clean up after all her chopping, mixing and dicing. It's no wonder Sam, it is no wonder Sam finds meal planning time consuming, tedious and boring. Sam is like, you know what, I should just be able to have someone else do this for me. Now, Sam, go ahead, do your finger. If you can, go and do it. But If you're like Sam and you're like, oh, you know what, Verona, (laughs) this is so boring. What have you got for me today? (laughs) Well, I have got this for you. In the spirit of the gift of giving, did you know that I wrote a meal prep book? Well, you girl, she did. She did. How you can make fast, easy, healthy meal prep recipes and the key thing, save time. Eat food you actually enjoy. And this book took months to do. Can you hear me changing the pages, turning the pages? So there are loads of meal prep books out there. What makes this meal prep different? Well, I wrote it. I wrote it, which is what makes it different. Unlike any other meal prep book out there, it's specifically written for women who are in the position to take action when it comes to your meal planning. So we have a meal plan, sample meal plan, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, and dinner. So I give you a really, really healthy meal plan. This is something what your meal plan could look like. And I give you the shopping list. The shopping list is where the gold is 
at my friends because this teaches you how to map out your shopping list so you know exactly what you're putting in to your grocery trolley or your cart whatever you call it you know exactly what you're putting in so you're not just aimlessly rolling around the peripheral of the supermarket and then by the time you get to the fruit and veg you ain't got no time or no space to put fruit and veg in because it's so packed with frozen foods and the foods that you commonly go to by default every single time you go to the restaurant or the supermarket and not the restaurant I'm thinking about food already all this talk about food's making me hungry And the reason why I'm talking about this is because I'm getting ready to give this away to one of you blessed listeners. All you need to do to win this book is, obviously it's got to be before Christmas, but all you need to do is DM me, VA Nutrition Coaching Podcast, over on Instagram if you have Instagram. Or you can nominate somebody if you don't want this book. Nominate someone who you know and tell me the three biggest things that you struggle with when it comes to meal prep. And also tell me why you, out of everybody who listens to this, should have this book. And I will choose a winner for free free so when it comes to meal planning like sam we know that sometimes it can be time consuming and boring absolutely boring it's no wonder we like to go to the drive through often because who wants to do all of that chopping prepping and dicing so but when it comes to meal planning though and meal prep meal prep is one of the best ways to save to save time especially when you are strapped for time and it also helps you save some coin so these are the two things that i'm actually going into a lot more detail into in the book but when it comes to meal planning it can also help you to eat healthier if you do it right now i'm going to show you how i meal plan so that you can implement it in your life you don't have to do what i do but take the principles so the first thing that i do when it comes to making meal prep that you can also do is to make a list of what you want to eat each week now i tend to use my fitness power because my macros are calculated in there and when i calculate your macros for you you get the my fitness pal guide to help you navigate that and how to put in all of your recipes and all of the fun things that come with planning and in your video breakdown that's exactly what i'm talking about why you've got this amount of fats proteins and carbohydrates and talking about fiber etc to create your custom plan and to also set you up from the beginning you also do get some macros and you also get some macros friendly recipes so I make a list of what I want to eat and I can do that in a template. I've got many meal, plan te- meal planning templates for myself that I use and my clients actually use, but you don't have to do that. You can do it in any way that works as long as it helps you to keep track of what you need to buy and what needs to be cooked ahead of time. The next thing that I do that you can also do is decide on which meals that need to be prepared ahead of time. Now we're busy. It's the busy season at the time of recording this is December. So most of us from Black Friday and Cyber Monday are in that mode to shop and I'm going to buy Christmas presents now and I'm going to wrap them and hide them. So we're in that mode of shopping. So when we're focused about shopping, we hardly focus on our bellies until we get to the point where, you know what, I can't walk anymore. Here's a Dairy Queen. Let me have something or let me have ice cream. Let me have this. Let me have that. I don't want to name too many brands here, but you know what it's like when you go shopping. And I know what it's like when I go shopping. You're expending energy. And when you're expending energy, your body is burning more energy and you actually getting more hungry for things however when it comes to that i'm not saying to you don't eat those things because i'm not the diet restrictive mentality or industry here i'm about you filling your belly and making sure you are satisfied and enjoy the food that you like well let me give you a practical example of what this may look like for you on a weekday let's take tuesday so tuesday in your house could be taco tuesday you could decide i'm gonna have chicken tacos today i'm gonna get the kids involved if they're of the age above five where they can safely cut the vegetables with you get them involved get their hands dirty figuratively and literally to involve them in the cooking tacos is so easy or fajitas is so easy to make super simple one of the quickest meals to make you can choose to have legumes in it you can choose to add that as an extra source of carbohydrates and some protein as well but you can set that up as a family fun activity to do and getting them involved so they're not feeling like i don't want to eat that they've actually taken part in cooking and prepare or preparing the meals that they're going to eat they're more likely to take the things and eat the vegetables if they've had a hand in it pun intended to actually prepare the meals for themselves and for their families now another thing that you could make you could make meatballs and put some marinara sauce in it or you could have meatloaf you could have that once a week or you could freeze it to use for later just don't put any liquid in the freezing do that after you've defrosted it if you need more liquid so the next thing that is probably going to be the most important thing for you is meal planning takes time it takes more time than we want more time than we hope more time than we expected it just takes too long and we're like why are you taking this long like sam we're getting frustrated at the chopping the dicing the cutting the prepping the freezing it is so long and it's like why why have you got to be so long 
I just want to be able to eat healthy. Sometimes we could be melodramatic like that, but if with good reason. If we're tired and stressed from people all day, we have got no more energy to people. Our reserve people, reserve batteries are well and truly dead. You know, like when your phone has died and it's died to the point where literally there's no juice. It takes at least a good couple of minutes to come on. I'm talking this kind of tired when it comes to that 10x. So when you're this type of tired, coming home to chop food, to cook food, and then to clean all of the dishes, who here? Nobody, nobody has time for that. But one of the things that you can do is to give yourself some time during the weekend or a weekday evening after work depending on how that works for you so in the one-to-one coaching I'm gonna put a caveat right on there in the one-to-one coaching I'm coming to your home not not physically I'm coming to your home virtually to do a virtual makeover and that's not in the book it is a new service that I've created via nutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash makeover you can book yours anytime through the year obviously not Christmas and holiday periods obviously however this has been created to come and help you now one thing I will say is come up and show up as yourself if you realize that you've booked this pantry session with me and this pantry makeover and you're like oh Verona's coming tomorrow virtually of course better get my house in order getting your house in order does not involve you going to the fridge going to the pantry and throwing away all of the sweet treats and foods that you have in there that really and truly you've recently just restocked upon and then thinking "Uh oh I need to throw this all away because it's bad food Verona is going to judge me let me tell you a little bit about how I coach how I coach is client-centered coaching and helping you change your behaviors. Running away from the problem isn't helping you build new habits that are going to last or helping you change those behaviors. All it is doing is hiding away from the very obvious problem. Now, way before I became a behavior change nutrition coach, I used to love watching these programs. People would be morbidly obese and they would go through an incredible transformation. Chris and Heidi Power, I cannot remember what their program was called, but I used to love watching them and I would so search up and see where are they now and sadly most of those couples who went through those extreme makeovers hint on title most of those people who went through extreme makeovers actually ended up regaining and more than they'd actually lost now I digress slightly let's come back to meal prep the reason why I started to watch this I found it fascinating about people's behaviors I didn't know that God was going to open a door for me to teach others to make that change not at that time anyway but I actually loved watching things like my 600 pound life all of those shows all of them were American and then we had one over here secret the life of secret eaters or my life as a secret eater something like that we had over here on the in the UK and they installed cameras in the house and they told the people to just eat as you normally would and so in the first few days you realize oh the camera's on me isn't it your normal behaviors and habits actually snap you back into reality and be like yeah yeah, this is me just snacking and you see so many things and clips of films where people are like you know what I'm eating healthy I'm eating a salad but I just don't know why I'm not losing weight and then it would take you to the snapshot of the times that they went into the cupboard the times that they had the snacks the times that they had the the big family size packet of crisps to themselves then you see this obviously it's hours of footage but it's condensed into snippets so it makes it look like a story where they went to go back into the kitchen and snack. So I'm saying all of this to say, bring all of that, all of those things, all of those habits, bring them to the virtual makeover. Because if you're wanting to actually build habits that you can sustain, you gotta be real. And if you're new here, this is the kind of level of coaching that I do. Bring me your Coke. Bring me, I don't want to name drop here, but bring me all of your fizzy drinks, all of your snaps, your snacks. Bring it all. Come with a snack to your coaching session because you're showing up in reality and I can work with that. We can make, we can do damage. We can do absolute amazing things when you come at this level. When you're coming pretending, when you're coming trying to impress me respectfully, it's not about me. It's about you. Don't come and show face for me if you're like, is gonna judge me listen like i said bring your plate of food bring your snacks the only thing is you can't share them with me which is a shame really i'd love to taste some american candy and american sweets except for twizzlers because i tried those the other day didn't really like them but bring your snacks bring your coffee bring your drink bring what you need to have because you're coming as you are ready to make those changes so when we're going through that virtual makeover when we're doing that in the meal planning section of the coaching on a one-to-one we're going all up in them coming all up in your pantry all up in your fridge to help you make nutritious choices literally I'm helping you sort out your pantry only thing you don't get is me coming to physically sort it out the way that I sort it out but you can do that I'm giving you the tools to be able to do that and so this is what meal planning involves
roles when it comes to meal planning these things are the things that take time so you're rearranging your pantry rearranging your nutrition step by step one at a time not putting unrealistic expectations and untold amounts of pressure on yourself to get it right yesterday when you're giving yourself time to do those things if after work doesn't work for you don't do after work simple as that find a time that does work for you and make the things and changes that you need to do that will help you continue to grow that. I talk a little bit about that in the book and a lot more in one-to-one coaching and in the virtual makeover that we actually do. So when you're prepared this way, this is how you know you can use these time-saving tips to help you get effective meal planning like a boss and actually start to see results that you can actually enjoy with your family without feeling like an outcast whilst they're enjoying all of their favorite foods and you're eating bland salad ain't nobody got time to be doing any of that so in recapping because we have now come to the end of the episode when it comes to meal planning the free time saving tips that we have talked about today is meal planning let's keep it real can be time consuming and can be tedious and boring but there are ways that you can do it right meal planning is one of the best ways to save time and some coin and it's also about making a list of what you want to eat each week bear in mind those things will change completely considering the things that you're doing the activities that you have but it's about making time and making space for those things next it's about deciding on which meals need to be prepared ahead of time and make necessary steps to do so and lastly we talked about which was the most important step meal planning takes time it does take time but you will get there now if you're somebody who needs additional help book your makeover session via nutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash makeover to book your virtual pantry with me if you are somebody who wants to snag those five spots in december for coaching with me behavior change all up in your business and changing your behavior for the good via nutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash coaching is the place or you can go straight to the website and in the corner on the right hand side is the little button that you need to press to book your call with me and my friends that is it do you realize i actually go into my high soprano natural head voice every beginning or the end of the episode it's just something that i do but my friends that's all we have got time for i hope you enjoyed this episode do share it with a sister friend who needs to hear this message this rural talk message and needs to know how these time saving tips can help her plan her meals and enjoy them and not feel frustrated and also if she wants to she can also apply to work with me as her behavior change nutrition coach lastly before i go if you haven't yet please complete the survey it will take you literally one minute five questions talking about some feedback for the podcast specifically what podcast episodes other than macros but what additional podcast episodes would you like to hear that actually help you when it comes to you listening to this and your nutrition journey and that my friends is all we have time for i cannot wait to catch you in the next one hey friend you made it to the end of the episode what was your biggest takeaway from today's episode don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and leave a review over on iTunes and if you have any questions comments or concerns about today's episode or you need help then you can contact me over on Instagram at VA Nutrition Coaching Podcast or email me support at VA Nutrition Coaching UK or you can head over to the Facebook page VA Nutrition Coaching Podcast it helps us reach even more women who are fed up with dieting don't know how to lose weight they're frustrated with following Sally's results and they're not getting any of their own and they just finally want to shed some pounds and do it in a way that they can sustain and they can enjoy but my friends that's a wrap for today's episode i can't wait to catch you on the next one until then friends stay healthy stay blessed and remember if you haven't already downloaded your five ingredient recipe pack you can go to the website va nutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash recipes and download your five ingredient recipe pack who said healthy eating was boring see you next time friends